this morning I came out to do some rabbit hunting and coyote hunting. Um, I'm heading into the to the house now. Didn't didn't see nothing for coyotes. Didn't get any rabbits. But I wanted to touch on uh, putting in out of state for tags. I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook and stuff. People were looking to come from out east to out west. And I'll give a, an example here in Wyoming for antelope. Yeah, if you want to, if you're non resident, today is December 31st. January 3rd opens up the application start process for residents and non residents. You can go on the Game and Fish website and look and see if you want to where you want to hunt it gives you the start of the season dates it doesn't give you an end because everything is tentative nothing is set in stone yet they'll do that later this year probably in June um, now as a non-resident for antelope if you want to get a good buck antelope tag in a buck air, in an antelope area you're going to have to have preference points now if you're starting at zero you can still draw a tag a, a buck antelope tag any antelope they're, they're any antelopes they're not buck antelope they're any antelope tags in some areas they're not going to be great some of it might be difficult to hunt from private access or private property. Uh, some people will give you access, some people won't. Um, for example, my my area that I go for antelope, <clears throat> it is almost a 90% chance to draw a tag. Now, there ain't no real huge antelope out there if you're looking for something 16 inches or above you're going to have to do some research and see which area has that big antelope in it so if you so say you're you're coming in with with zero points you want to hunt up by casper okay you're going to have to have uh i uh, let's say a, a minimum of five points to be able to draw a tag <clears throat> but and to get to get preference points you have to apply for the tag wait for the draw you don't get drawn they send you your money back minus an application fee <clears throat> and then you get a point for next year so there's one point if you want, the way that I do it for my family that comes in from out of state is I'll get on the Game of Fish website, I'll look at the area, find an area that has the best chance of them drawn with zero points. Zero to one point, two points maybe. And that's what they'll put in for. At the same time, doe antelope are dime a dozen. You can get them anytime, pretty much. And that's what I always do for my family, is I'll put them in for the buck tag, and I'll put them in for the doe tag, so they at least get a tag. Now, if you're coming out doing it yourself, I would recommend doing it that way, too. You can just buy a point later on in the year, and you can just buy one one point for antelope, you can buy one point for deer, you can buy one point for elk, so on and so on. <clears throat> and then you can you can put in for your doe tag in the in, in an area that you want to hunt, and then you can do that for a few years come out and you can hunt antelope, a doe antelope, 
scout your area for your buck and then you know eventually you gear enough points you can you can draw a tag um, and if there if you if you hunt that area for a couple years and the and the buck quality is, is not what you want and you you know you kind of get to know the lay of the land some people you can you can put in for a different area and you're not losing your points you can uh, if, it, if you go the other way with it if you put in for that area and you draw a tag you might not get what you want as, as far as quality of animal and to add a disclaimer I am not responsible for anybody coming out and not doing their own due diligence on looking at the game and fish regulations do, do your own part read the rules follow the rules there's there's a lot of opportunities out here for non-residents to come up and hunt unguided with without you know doing it on your own i'm looking into going into idaho right now and i'm getting that the system kind of kind of figured out you just got to get you can get online to any of these game and fish websites and you can you can figure it out spend some time looking on there as, as far as Wyoming goes, if anybody has any any questions or uh, can't figure something out, need some help with the drawing odds, the harvest reports, uh, things like that, shoot me a message. I'll be more than happy to to communicate with you, try to help you get out here and go hunt this is a great place to hunt there's a lot of open spaces a lot of BLM land a lot of natural forest wide open great animals there's there's a lot of opportunities out here